Oh my gosh, guys, it's Sunday. I gotta go to the post office. So as you guys saw by that uh, clip right there, again, I always have mail that has postage due. So I'm gonna show you a couple of clips from earlier in the week that I had received uh, postage that was either damaged or missing um, pieces. But anyway, I just wanna give you guys the pointers. Let me go ahead and flip this uh, camera to the clips that I recorded earlier in the week. So I just picked up my P.O. Box mail and I want to make sure I point out to the guys a couple of things if you're going to send me a package. You really, if it's going to have coins in it, you're going to be testing the postal system if you don't protect them. First example is this bottom envelope. It's uh, been opened. It's been damaged. So it's marked as damaged um, and there's nothing in it, I would imagine. It feels like there's nothing in it. So when I get to the mail call, I'll show whose envelope this is but that one's damaged and this one right here is damaged and open. I don't know if everything's in there, so that's gonna be tough. And then this one's really damaged too. So if there was any good coins in there, first of all, you gotta hope they make it. And second of all, you gotta hope that they're uh, not damaged. I just wanted to alert you guys to that. You're gonna have to please make sure that if you send packages, which I appreciate, you gotta send them in a padded envelope it'll save me from having to worry about the coins arriving safely, and it would be a bummer for you to send some coins that I can't even show on the channel. All right, first up, Diggin' Dave. And I believe I know what this is. I go on Diggin' Dave's channel, I do his live streams, I donate so that I could uh, maybe get some silver, but basically just to support his channel. And Robert Johnson said that he wanted something on Diggin' Dave's channel on his live stream and he wanted to send it to me. I've got a couple of packages here. One is uh, Rob Fine's treasure. So obviously this is uh, from Dig and Dave. It says, thanks. And then on this package, Rob Johnson won this in my stream, but wanted me to send this to you. Okay, so this is the one Robert was telling me about. P.S. He enjoys your video. So let's go ahead and kick it off with what Robert Johnson won that he wanted me to have. Can't get mad at stacking silver. 1969 Denver. All right, 40% off the bat. And then from Diggin' Dave's stream, this is what I won from his stream. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's right. I had won this 1980 proof, which I will definitely take, as well as another silver, another 67. Nothing wrong with two 40 percenters and a proof in the first package. Digging Dave, appreciate it, man. Love your channel. I'll put a link below. Robert Johnson, man. Very kind of you, so good, sir. I love it. And 
I know you got a couple of my mats, so you owe me a picture of your daughter coin roll hunting on my mat. All right, enough of that. Let's move on to metal detecting with Austin Simpson. And again, I'll have a channel link below. Let's see what we got here from Austin. All right, we got a letter. No, I feel like we got some package, some stuff in there. Yep, and that's everything. All right, what do we got here? Put these to the side for now, and we'll read his letter. Hey Rob, this is Austin from Metal Detecting with Austin Simpson. I sent you some coins and I hope they don't get lost in the mail and you get them, LOL. You'll be getting a 1945, 46, and 51S wheat penny, a 1912 and 1904 V nickel, wow. A pretty good shape 39 Jefferson nickel, okay? A few Canadian pennies and an Elizabeth II half penny. Also, I threw in a one franc, one franc, from 1943. Okay, wow. Hope you enjoy the coins. Keep up the quality entertainment. Thank you very much, Austin. If any of these coins turns out being worth a lot, please send them back on the address on the envelope. Will do, Austin. Will do. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Let's start with uh, the nickel. This must be the 39 nickel if I can get it to sit straight in this container. There we go. All right. 1939, Philadelphia. A 1939, Denver, holy cow. Well, you know, Austin, I haven't been able to find a 39, Denver. I've only found a ton of 39, Philadelphias. I do have a 39, Denver in my book. Matter of fact, while I got you, everyone here, I'm just dying to know, is this 39, Denver in better shape? It might be a toss-up, but I think it might be in better shape. At least it presents better. I'll have to look at the details under the microscope, but I may switch that bad boy out and uh, upgrade my album. All right. What else we got here? This is that uh, half penny. All right, guys, I decided to staple it so that I could uh, keep it in the center here real quick. So we got a uh, Elizabeth II half penny. Beautiful. 1967, man, that thing is beautiful. Austin, thank you very much, that's beautiful, my friend. And then I know we got a couple of V-nickels in here and some uh, pennies, which I always enjoy, and the Frank. I'm not familiar with, uh, feels like it's made out of aluminum or tin. I have to double check what its composition is, but it definitely feels light. One franc, 1943. All right, yeah. That thing is light, light, light. Let's take a look at these V-nickels. Oh yeah, 1912. You couldn't send me a 1913 V-nickel? Just kidding, 1913. Look it up, guys. The famous 1913 V-nickel. Ooh, is this a, no, it's just damaged. All right, let's see what we got here. And this is the 1904. Beautiful. I love it. Love V-nickels. You guys know I only have a handful of them. And then I got some Canadians, which I'll go through and see if I need any of those, which I love to look through and uh, continue to update my set. And then we've got some wheat pennies here. Let's take a look at what we got. A 46S, a 45S, and a 51S. So between those and the 39 uh, D-nickel, Austin, man, you're the man. I appreciate it. I will definitely make sure that uh, I put a link to your channel below. Everyone, if you like metal detecting and coin collecting, check out Austin Simpson's channel. Matter of fact, Austin, I really loved the video you did with the uh, money room, or the, the room with you and your dad's, all your metal detecting and coin finds over the years. I told you I want to set my room like that. That was an awesome room. You guys, check out that video and watch it. It's awesome. All right, next up is Curtis. Curtis, the, yours was the package that uh, it had been completely damaged. We're going to go ahead and pull out a letter here. I just want you to see, not only did it rip, it ripped apart at the glue. It ripped in that corner down there, and it ripped up here. 
All right, let's go ahead and read the letter. Dear Rob Finds Treasure, I've been watching your YouTube videos since your two Indian box. I love your style of video, and it would be really cool if you shared, showed off your collection. Yeah, I, I do need to show off my collection, guys. It's not as extensive as everyone seems to think. Remember, I got back into coin roll hunting and coin collecting in October of last year, so it's only been for me 10 months. So with that said, you're right, I need to show it off, but it's not gonna be as extensive as some of you think that it is. I do not coin roll hunt myself due to lack of transportation and cash flow due to being only 14 years old. However, I do have a nice collection which includes a US typeset, which you should try to assemble one day. Also, always ask for large dollars because you may even score silver. I do, I try. I always, I forget half the time, unfortunately, but I do ask. I sent you some cool coins for you, which includes a 2018 penny for your album because I know you get demit coins, a 2018 P dime, an uncirculated 72 dime, dang it, a 41 nickel, don't have that either, and two Colombian pesos, I didn't get that. Also, could you please send me, okay, then he asks for some stuff, and I'll see if I've got that. Enjoy a meteor two on the back. Meteor on back. Use that to send the coins. Sorry I didn't send more, had to stay under an ounce. Please feel free to email me at, okay, gotcha. All right, so meteorite. Is it a meteorite? It's magnetic for sure. So if you gave me a little fragment of a meteorite, that is awesome. I'm going to have to open that up and take a look at it. Hold on, guys. All right, Curtis. Very cool, my friend. I would love to hear more information about how um, this meteorite came in possession. Have you had a test done on it yet? Do they know the composition of it? In order for me to really package it and kind of put it in my collection, I just wanted a little more info. I'll shoot you an email, and uh, maybe you can respond back with how you came across it. Pretty dang cool. And then, of course, it looks like we did get one of the pennies, which was the 2018 P, which I will take. Awesome. Well, Curtis, I wish I could have got the rest of the package. Next up is Vaughn Vale. Vaughn has sent me stuff before, so I'm curious to see what he's got in here. I think I saw some currency, yep. And Vaughn, your package as well got damaged, so I hope we got everything in here. We'll know pretty quickly if we got everything. Looks like you sent some foreigns and some buffaloes. So let me put all these in here real quick, just so I don't get lost. All right. From Vaughn Vale. Let's see what he writes. Okay, he's got a list of coins on the back. Perfect. Dear Rob, my name is Vaughn, and I have been collecting coins for about seven months now, and I absolutely love it. Back in June, I took a trip to Germany, which was very fun, by the way. I also had a layover in Iceland. Included is some older coins from Europe, along with some Icelandic crone. I also included two buffalo nickels. If it's okay with you, can you nick a date? For me and send back please i would appreciate it greatly thank you so much for the awesome videos you have made keep the good work sincerely vaughn all right vaughn so it looks like you sent me some coins here let's take a look at what we got we've got 500 kroner icelandic note all right like that may 22nd 2001 we like that a deutschmark 1962 right here one Fennig and five Fennig. I did not get those, Vaughn. And as you can see, the uh, envelope is torn as well. So we didn't get the Fennigs. One five ten and one hundred Krone. I see the uh, one and ten Krone and the one hundred. So it looks like the five Krone coin is also missing. And then two Buffalo nickels. Well, Vaughn, the good news is most of it arrived. The bad news is we lost the uh, one in five Fenix and the five Krone coins. Luckily, the two Buffalo nickels made it as well. I will nicodate these and I will send these back to you, sir. Um, I'll see if I need to nicodate them. I'll look at them under a microscope. But Vaughn, appreciate the package. Good, sir. Vaughn, 
Much love, brother. Thank you very much. We'll get this package sent back to you. We'll move on to the next one now. All right, next up is Martin Padilla. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Ooh, what's this? A 1987 D NIFC. That's awesome. That's a good start. Feels like we got a few more coins taped or stapled to this. We do. All right, let's read this. Martin writes, Dear Rob, I've been watching your videos for a few months now and I'm hooked. I started my collect I started my collecting about six months ago or so, and I have had some great luck. My best box had 45 Wheaties. Jeez. With most of them from the 30s. And since I'm from Cali, I find estimate marks the most often. Inside, I have included a few coins from that box that I got doubles of. Hope you like the coins. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Martin. MPM Coins. All right. So he gave us a 39S, a 38S. A 36S and a 37S. Nice. I will definitely take a look at those and uh, add them to my collection. Yeah, really nice coins. And he also wrote, P.S. I wish I could have found an extra 35S so I could have sent you all five. You know what? You've done enough. MPM coins, Martin. I appreciate that. And but just so you know, Martin, your uh, address is special to me because I won't show it. But you live in the exact town I used to live in. So how small is this country? So anyway, thank you very much, Martin, from MPM Coins. Great care package. Love it. We'll put your channel link down below. All right, everyone. Last package is from Austin Miller. Austin sent a ton of coins. I'm really surprised that it even made it. But the envelope's uh, worse for wear. But it, this one doesn't look like anything was lost. Let's take a look at what Austin Miller has said to us. All right, his YouTube channel is Coin Scavenger. Oh, and he, okay, I know him. I know Austin now because I talked to him on Instagram quite a bit. I know that name on Instagram. Dear Rob Finds Treasure, you have inspired me to collect coins and coin roll hunting. Because of you, I have a giant collection of coins. We have had multiple conversations on Instagram. You have taught me so much about coins. As I was watching your wheat harvest vid, I got 27 Wheaties in my box. Thank you so much for everything. So I sent you my entire collection of 09s. Happy hunting, Austin Miller. P.S. Threw in a couple of late 40s nickels as well. So Austin sent me a bunch of the 09s as well as some late 40s. We got a 49, a 49, a 49, a 48, a 46. And another 49, and this one right here is really, really in great shape. It's a Denver Mint 1949 Jefferson Nickel, so that's awesome. Austin, thank you very much. I'll be sure to include your stuff from the channel down below. So there you have it, everyone. There's today's video. We got a package from Dick and Dave. Also, care package from Robert Johnson in Dick, Dick and Dave's package. We've got a pretty cool package from... Curtis, apologize that most of the coins didn't make it. We did get that meteorite. I'd love to hear more about that as well. We got a great package here from Austin Simpson with Metal Detective with Austin Simpson. We got a good package from Von Vale. He's got me some foreigns, some foreign currency, a couple of buffalo nickels he wants me to nick a date and send back, which I have no problem doing. Again, I'm sorry, sorry to, uh, to Curtis and to Von for losing some of your coins. That's just... That's what happens sometimes, unfortunately. We also got a nice uh, package from MDM Coins. Martin Padilla sent us some good stuff here. Some Esmond Mark Wheaties and an 87 NIFC. And then we also got a great package from Coin Scavenger. He gave me his whole collection of 09 so I can add to mine. Remember guys, if you're not doing it, way up your 2009s, they made a limited set of these with uh, out of copper instead of out of zinc. So if they weigh 3.11, you got some good coins. And then some 49s and some late 40s nickels here. Regardless, another good week of great packages from some of the viewers. I really appreciate it. As always, guys, you know, I'm going to put their information down below. Check them out. Support the community. Subscribe. Like the content if you can. And uh, let's take care of one another.
At the end of the day, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday shout out mail call episode with me. This is number 15. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.